And I'm taking a naval attrition. I actually know where these ships came from. I'm just astonished that they've made it this far. Um, you may want to try and make it here because there's no way you're making it home. So do you want to know what's happened here? I'm amazed that they thought that this was quicker but the, you remember when I queued up the 10 ships here? Obviously they tried to build some in Suez and Rash Garib. And instead of going around Africa where we actually own ports so that they would not take much naval attrition, they decided to go via Australia and New Zealand to try to get back over here. How is that shorter? Going all the way around to... Oh no, you can't see the minimap. All the way around here, down here, around here and up there, or around this. In what world is that shorter? Bizarre. Alright, Melindy Rebels, bye bye. And they're taking 24% attrition. Yeah, they're dead. Oh, well, that's a waste of 20 ducats, isn't it? Well, apparently one ship went the right way. Need to double check. I don't have more morons. That's those two morons. There's a car Oh, no. We, we, we do have some more morons. Maybe the game thought it was the path of least resistance. Yeah, that's possible. Still kind of bonkers, though. How's Morocco feeling? Morocco has not really changed their feelings very much. Oh, look at that. We lost some ships. Oh, and we also have too much admin. Uh, development. That'll do. I was going to say, I hope that we take this fort before they take that one. If we don't, I'll be astonished. Although they did just get a 21% swing there. Nope, more than that. That just happened. 40% ahead of them. But this means I can now attack Tangiers because apparently when it's an enemy fort, yeah, sure, you can go there. When it's my fort, no. The Bolton. Though I don't have my artillery train here, so I do need to be a little bit careful. Yeah, apparently we did have some random ships elsewhere. And there's the Siege of Fez. <laughs> what the hell, man? Okay, Morocco, come on. Nope, Morocco's like, nope, we can still win. You can't win. Let's just station you in Suez, station you over there. In fact, no. Let's station those three over here, just in case they do try to sally out with the uh, transports. Now I have to bloody well take this back. Wow, that was somewhat irritating. Don't know if I want to go for Mara Nostrum as Castile or as Aragon. Aragon gets the free claims across the Mediterranean, but Castile would be able to fight France easier and earlier, which would really help. 
Um, honestly, probably either, because you can get the Iberian Wedding as either. So you would just form Spain, and then you can definitely take France with the right allies. Just ally like Austria, maybe England, Burgundy if they exist. In fact, yeah, just try and keep Burgundy alive. Tariffs on tobacco. The tobacco production is one of into no. the tobacco production in one of our colonies has come into focus. It seems that it generates quite a lot of money, perhaps too much without being properly taxed. In the spirit of mercantilism, we should force them to trade their tobacco through our ports instead. No, not going to increase tariffs. This is a faux colonial game. I need the colonies because I need the merchants, not because I actually want the tariffs. Portugal's like, please let me out. I'm like, no. Morocco is getting closer and closer to accepting the inevitable. Seriously, come on. You're a minus 32. Your forts are falling like wild four leaf things. There we go, now I can take some money too. See, you should have pieced out ages ago, then I wouldn't be able to take money. And we still have plenty of admin points to actually uh, core all of this. Oh, and I gained power projection for this. They're a rival. Oh, hell yeah. Yoink! Morocco was seed. Huelva, Seville, Cadiz, Cordoba, Badajoz, and uh, to Aragon. Morocco will also pay 713 ducats to Aragon and its allies, of which I get 690. Alright, good stuff. So, Portugal. How's it going? Oh, right, because I reloaded, that's reset everything. So I want those two. I want that, and I want that. Alright, we're getting closer. They're thinking about it now. And are there any buildings I could be building right now? In fact, what's the next technology to come through? Next institution is going to be Manufactory, so I want to make sure I have enough of those set up. That's going to be in 30 years, so we do have time. Let's get those building. Why am I gaining corruption? Overextension. Fair enough. Well, let's pay that down as quickly as we can, and it will eventually balance. Let's get our armies back home again. Let's go kill their navy. Then I guess we need to think about heading overseas to go and deal with their colonial assets, particularly Kariba. Have they built any more heavy ships? Nope. I actually have more heavies than they do. Good. And in the meantime, my galleys can head back to port and repair. <clears throat> right, we should probably put Jackson in charge of this. Then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start to split you twice. We're going to call you Ragusa. We're going to send you back to Ragusa. And then the these two are going to protect trade in Sevilla. Although we're not going to need such a large fleet protecting trade in Sevilla anymore, which is going to be nice. 
Morocco is no longer a valid rival. So my power projection is now pretty much secure. We're very, very low on manpower, though. And yes, the coalitions are going to continue growing, so we do need to be a little bit careful. Like, I'm still pretty confident about F Fortress Aragon. It would be extremely difficult to take us down, but not impossible. And yeah, we need to start thinking about how to go after Karibar. What are my transports? That's one good question. I haven't accidentally just merged them. There they are. When can I build Suez? I think it requires admin 10 or something. Yeah, it doesn't even appear as a... Sorry, admin 20. It doesn't even appear as an option yet. And we've got too many military points. So let's spend some of that down. Oh, coring. Yeah, that's that's a thing that needs to be done. Duh. Let's wait for the reinforcements to come in. Okay, so I'm hoping it's going to require just the one stack over there to properly deal with them. So we'll send the 19,000? Yeah. And once they're ready, we'll send these. Empress Consort Regency, our old monarch has decided to die a little bit too soon. Our is not quite ready to assume the title of monarch. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's boost stability. Cost 141. That's actually quite expensive. Oh, because of the overextension and religious unity problems. Yeah. We're gonna have to take something like humanism, I think. Because all of these conversions are gonna take some time. What achievement am I going for? I don't really do achievements. I'm just playing because I wanted to try Aragon. But um, I wanted to get over to India. I wanted to make as much money from the East Indian trade uh, as possible. I didn't want to kill Castile. Um, I set out in this game saying I'm not going to kill Castile, but everyone else started killing Castile. Like, all of this belonged to Morocco. France has obviously been expanding out here. Um, so I've decided to kill Castile just to stop the others from taking it. Um, but I'm going to leave their colonies and stuff alive. And I wasn't going to expand too much into the West, though I've started to do that, but I'm still very much like limiting myself because I know I'll snowball otherwise. And then it gets a little bit dull. Okay, so combat fleet is ready. And I think I am going to send you to the Caribbean just to go and clean up a bit. Yes, you're not going to be the most effective over there, but you are still going to be effective. And also, let's put Jackson back in charge of that. France wants a military... Uh, sorry, royal marriage. Yes, absolutely. That is one alliance I very much wish to maintain. Then once the uh, galleys have set off... In fact, galleys could even come over here and kill the fleet that I know is just sitting here. And refusing to move. France has embraced global trade. Better late than never. That's the Portuguese transport fleet. Dead. Right. Let's send you guys over here. And we'll send the transports out at the same time. Once my new transport has joined us, in fact, well, you're a brig. Brigs, I think, are the newest. No, merchantmen are. And in that case, you're obsolete. I don't care. Transports. Let's go. 
We need to retake all of this territory. Royal patronage. Among some of our nobles, it's become increasingly fashionable to spend time in experimentation and philosophy. Some have begun to form regular discussion groups, while others uh, use letters to correspond with other inquisitive minds. So I can spend 2,000 ducats, which would put us into a bit of debt, but it's debt. I can pay it off. And that does give us 4.5 innovativeness, which is huge. So yes, I will take out two loans in order to facilitate the spreading of those lovely, lovely ideas. 46 innovativeness. Wait. I'm actually losing innovativeness right now because I'm actually behind neighbours. Seriously? I just noticed that's been ticking down. Minus 0 0.03 is higher than minus 0 0.005. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's a tiny amount. That's every month. Screw it, it's every month. Who cares? I'm not going to waste monarch points just because of that. Castile has an army on its African island. Yeah, I know it does. I'm kind of happy to just leave them there. And you guys, I'm actually going to set to drilling. Hello? Oh, you can't because you're not on your own territory. So, is Portugal ready to give up yet? No, but they're getting closer. The length of war is ticking down quickly. Why not occupy Portugal's remaining province, the uh, African province? Because uh, I don't really need to. It's not a fort, so it doesn't actually contribute very much. Yeah, we're going to take Cuba first. Okay, so I want you to hunt enemy fleets in the Caribbean. Let's see if I can get that to actually work. Oh no, we're being attacked. Let's move over one more. We'll land an attack into Guyon. Havana and St. Vincent, rebels. Loyalists, right? No. Of course not. Although we'll be in Havana very soon. Alright, Portugal's like, oh, they're, they're actually sending troops over here. Maybe we should give up. Right? Right? No. That's right, the regulars are here. Um, let's detach enough to siege that down. We'll go and kill the rebels. Palu's fighting Indians. Natives. Fighting the peasants. Okay. Now I'm going to see if they try to fight these guys or not. Oh wow, we're going to absolutely blitz this siege down. Now, how much... Manpower would I get? 19,000 by going down by 5. That would be enough to pay off most of my manpower deficit. Uh, nah. I don't think I'm going to need it. Mara's in the coalition. Yeah, the Middle East is really getting a little coalition-y. 
I think I upset them slightly. Just, just very slightly. Do they have any forts here? They do not. Do they have any armies here? Is the bigger question. Let's get to Bayamo, and then we'll have a look around. Nope. Okay. Well, in that case, let's take it all. And make Portugal really think twice about this. Yeah, they have 15,000 on Ireland, I know. Oh, that's a battle going on. Are you sailing over there? You are. You could... No! There! Literally a battle going on. <laughs> yeah, these hunt enemy fleet missions are terrible. They're such a good idea, they just don't work. Alright, they're only 12% away. So let's merge everyone together. Let's make sure we actually take Jamaica. I think that might actually be one of the reasons that they're saying, You can't take my stuff. Where are you going? Northern Guyana Basin, really? Are you trying to escape? That's very naughty. steal at this point it's just like damn it Portugal give up ah no stop Duh. and thanks to my flagship being here by the way we offload troops faster one of the reasons I have this random galley along with my transport fleet. Integrated marines. Movement on and off of ships. Minus 33%. Mortars. Impact on siege. Plus one. And then hull sheathing. Flagship durability just so it doesn't die all the time. And we're getting call for peace. But we're innovative so call for peace actually impacts us a lot less. That's one of the advantages of being smart. You can war more better longer. Alright, seriously, Portugal. Nope, Portugal still says no. Um, that's a lot of bad guys. Let's, let's send in both of the armies. Alright, Jamaica has fallen. Oh, we're going to catch you. Huzzah! Finally. Alright, let's see how the uh, Royal Aragonese Navy fares against the Portuguese colonial fleet. Yes, that's what I was expecting. You know what, we should have landed in Tortuga, seeing as that's what I actually wanted. Now I am losing innovativeness. It's January, okay, that's fine. Up, up, up. Gallop Cavalry, Lever Cannon. I can now build Galliots, and I can get another idea group. Still can't core anything, though. Um, so, first of all, Cavalry goes up to Gallop Cavalry. Leather Cannon. So cannons are now very much useful on the front line. Is there a fort in Haiti or Dominican? No. I don't actually know where the capital is. Oh, Antigua. And colonial nations only tend to have a capital on their... Only tend to have a fort on their capital. They don't tend to build more. Yeah, leather cannon. It's because they use leather straps to... put the cannon barrel on the carriage rather than try and um, 
bolt it on or um, nail it in. It's not because the cannon's literally made out of leather. It was a better way of keeping the cannon barrels actually on the carriage rather than trying to nail them, which could damage the barrel or any other way of fastening. Silk has been in high demand throughout the world since before the Middle Ages, and its procurement was one of the driving forces behind the voyages of discovery in the East. With the greater availability of silk, both raw and woven, the demand for silk cloth in the West is growing, soaring ever higher. That's amazing, because I need to rem remind you that Valencia is actually a silk producer. Uh, so Valencia is now worth even more money from the production. It's already insane. And yeah, Castellan separatists are getting a little bit antsy. So come on, Portugal, give up. Their war score is just sitting at 51%. I'm trying to think what else I would need to take from them. It's got to be just the colonies. South Africa belongs to them, but that would be a trade company, so it wouldn't be worth that much in terms of war score. Plus, it's owned by rebels. Actually, it is worth a lot in war score. It's worth a huge amount of war score. Huh. Well, it looks like we need to go to South Africa. Once we've taken over Haiti and Dominica, we'll do that. Meanwhile, Castile's like, we're at 95%! Portugal! Give up! Yeah, these are worth rather less, but there are a lot of them. I want to see if they actually count towards it. How would I do that? Jamaica plus 0 0.9. Jamaica's worth three war scores, so colonies are worth a third. Oh, we can do a government reform. Hello. Oh, it's the final one. Interesting. So we could become a republic at this point if we wanted to. I don't think so, though. Not this time. So legislative houses gives us an additional admin possible policy. Or we could go for political absolutism, which gives us more absolutism and more max absolutism. Uh, we are going to be a fairly absolute government, actually. That would allow us to get to 94. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Also, we do need another one of these chaps. We'll go for the unrest reduction. That's probably a good idea. National decision, advancement of religion. Missionary spread, but institution spread goes down. I think not. Although the administrative possible policies is also super, super strong. Although right now, the choices are a bit rubbish. We'll go with this. I think we still generate reform progress, don't we? Oh no, we don't need to, we just spend corruption to switch. Yeah, that's how it works. Actually, they did still have an army here, didn't they? Those cores are done. I mean, that's part of the other reason I'm not too concerned about these wars not being over yet. Oh, does Portugal have claims on... Oh, Castile have claims on these. Yeah, that's why I haven't been able to call them. Okay, that makes sense. So, damn it, Portugal. 
Give up already. I thought as much. It is a minus two, but these are regular forces versus colonial. And I'm a tech ahead of them now. <laughs> 